Hi guys, uh, this is Chuck Yen uh, from Nepali Brew Boy, and we have here today another home brewing videos. So we're gonna be actually uh, brewing our blonde, is barbecue blonde, and right guys, this is gonna be the, we're gonna focus, focus. So barbecue blonde, uh, we'll be using uh, ten pounds of. Uh, grain so we have eight um eight pounds of avant-garde pilsner and two pounds of bridge cherry wood uh, which is smoked malt so um so it's gonna be very light beer um blonde good for the summer and the hops that we're gonna be using is from uh Germany, uh from Tetnak uh region uh very uh King of the hops, that's what it says. Very uh, mild in flavor and um, gives you a lot of spicy, uh, spicy, um, and a little more like pepper, more like uh, green tea's flavor on a beer. So um, I've got already uh, all my kits ready, and I've got uh, water like boiling. Uh, so let me just show you uh, my setup. Hi right, guys. So <clears throat> this is gonna be our grain. So there you go. This is Pilsner and uh, a breast, uh cherry smoked. And I've got my Bruce Bruce system here. Mm, this is a uh, grandfather uh, does about uh, 20 liters. This uh, this is my uh, my fermenter uh, holds seven gallon. This is from SS uh, Brutech, uh, high quality stainless steel. Uh, as in commercial brewer so right there uh, my water is still boiling right now so I'm just waiting for it to hit the strike temperature of there you go this is right now 146 to climbing up so um, I'm gonna wait till uh, it reaches 150 do and we're gonna start maxing in hi guys Chuck here uh, from Nepali brew boy and I have here today another home brewing video so we are about to brew a barbecue smoked blunt. Uh, supposed to be awesome. So um, it is uh, 10 pounds of grain, uh, 8 pounds of avant-garde pilsner and 2 pounds of British cherry smoked. Uh, and I'll be using uh, tetanac hops from German. Uh, the boil time is going to be about 60 minutes and so hopefully uh, I can get it running it's pretty easy brew so it's just uh, just one half for bittering uh, which is gonna help for aroma too so I'm all set up and actually let me get a little closer view I've got my brewing setup all set here there you go guys so I've got a grandfather brewing system and uh, that's my fermenter from SS Brewtech pretty high end so as of right now, we are just waiting for the water to come to the boil. There you go. So we are ready. All right, guys. So uh, we've reached the our massing temperature, and so we are about to get our grain and mass it. Hi, right, guys. So there you go. This is my grain, and I'm gonna be starting to put those in right here. Ah, yes, so um, I've just got uh, so we just uh, put the grain in and it is about to mash right here guys so the goal is um, the grain has a lot of starch uh, the barley the goal is to uh, soak it up good and get all those uh, the sugar out from the grain and that will be eventually uh, drawing out uh, wort which is the uh, raw beer and then once we have the massing, then that's how we're gonna do the boil and then get our beer all ready. Putting, adding more grain here. Uh, once you have your grain, make sure you kind of stir it, stir it good, so there you don't leave any of those grain lump or grain dough. Uh, so nice and good. All right, so so we just started. Um, massing our grain here so it is infused greatly uh, we're gonna let it sit for an hour and then we're gonna get those 
extract those grain from the brewing system and we're gonna start boiling so this now we are all set all right guys so that's it so i just all right guys so uh we just uh, put all those grain in the hot water and we're gonna be doing a little massing so uh, basically gonna wait for an hour to extract all the sugar from our grain which is gonna use it to as a base for the wort which is a raw beer and we're gonna start boiling adding hops and get my beer cooking along and right here so that's it it is nice oh, smells good so <clears throat> I'm gonna put the lids on right there guys and just gonna watch for an hour and we're gonna get those start boiling right now um, that's the little pump here all right guys so after that I've got a little lid here this one is gonna go right on the top right there so I've got a little metal shade so we want to make sure that our beer is super clean there you go and and we're gonna cover it right back all right I'm ready to do the magic I right, guess so we are right now massing in all right guys so uh our grain has been massing for an hour now we're gonna get those grain out from our system brewing system so our grain has been massing for an hour and uh, looks like all the good stuff is all grain right there that's the word so we're gonna separate from all those grains right now all right guys so our uh <clears throat> it's been messing for an hour so all the wood is all drained out so I'm gonna get those grain out and get all the sweet water so we can prepare the beer so <clears throat> so our grain is all done looking beautiful looking good and it's kind of heavy and super hot so got to be real careful so this the internal bucket has all the grain uh, and we have mashed it for an hour so all the good stuff is all getting drain right now so let me take a show you a little better uh, closer photo I mean video there you go that's all our beer and it is gonna go down uh, you really can't see it but I can you can hear that little simmering oh no so uh, <clears throat> so as of right now we're just waiting uh, for all the water to get drained and then once everything is all done we're gonna start our boiling hi right, guys so right here so we are almost done draining all those wort so maybe like a few more minutes and we should have all this wort drained Oh yes, so we finally finished draining all the the juice from the wort here. Huh? So we're gonna we're gonna get those grain out and we're gonna dump it and we're gonna start the boil. Hi right, guys, so mm, so our mashing is all done and we just drain all the wort from the grain and to the boiling bucket. So I'm gonna get those grain out and toss it out. And it's kind of pretty heavy so all right guys so uh, so our grain is all drained so as you can see i just got all this gooey left and all the sweet water is all in then i'm gonna be uh so we're gonna toss this the grain out now so it's kind of pretty heavy so you gotta be real careful and it's still pretty hot and i've still got like 160 10 so make sure safety first Okay now. Ah, so there you go. Oh, I hope my wife doesn't kill me. I'm gonna make, make a mess. So we're gonna go all the way down and toss it. Hi oh. okay, guys, so we just finished dumping the grain. So this was the here. So it's all drained. So this is all the juice that we extracted uh, earlier. Uh, we're gonna let it come to a rolling boil and then add our hops and uh, we're gonna be boiling for an hour but before we put the hops in we're gonna have to get this wort bring the wort to a rolling boil 
All right, guys. So uh, we just uh, drained all the uh, wort from the grain. So it's uh, boiling right now. And then I have here. Uh, this is what they call hop spider. So basically, I mm, put those all those hop here, so it doesn't uh, give my beer very clear. And this one actually goes right there, right there. So this is the hop spider, and as you can see, right. Looks pretty clear. So as of right now, we're just waiting for the wort to start boiling, and then we're going to be adding the hops in this hop spider. Hi right, guys. So uh, I think our uh, wort is finally uh, starting to boil, and uh, we're going to be adding the hops. Uh, this is uh, this is the kid homebrewing kid is from Texas Brewing, and uh, this is going to be. Uh, one ounce pallet hops, uh, Herman Tetnang. Uh, so it's supposed to be very similar to Saz Group. Uh, it has a little spicy herbal uh, notes, so uh, perfect blend for my smoked blunt. So uh, let's uh, put those hops in and we're gonna do another 60 minute boil. And right here, so our wort is, I've got some good rolling boil here. And I'm gonna put those hops all right, so this is gonna be the hops here. So let me grab a little scissor here. It's kind of a little sturdy. Okay, so I have here my hop spider. So we're gonna put right there. That's it. So the hops is all in, and we're gonna wait for another hour boil. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little stir. So we can get all those flavor and aroma. It looks like it's pretty like pale and straw. So I guess the color is not too intense. So I guess we'll have to check it out. So it is all set and we're gonna let it boil for another hour and get all those. So this is, we're actually gonna be just using like one hop. So this is gonna be aroma as well as a bittering so i guess we'll be back later bye bye all right guys so um our beer is getting boiled now uh we've just added the hops and the boiling is gonna be for maybe an hour so in the meantime i'm gonna prepare the yeast uh actually i'm gonna be using uh Cephil US05 uh dry yeast but i like to kind of rehydrate it uh get it you know uh, cooking up pretty better so so they can multiply and I'm gonna be actually using like two sacks so mm, what I like to do is usually I like to get a little wood from uh, there you go I've got myself a little bit this is how the color is gonna be on the beer so I've got it here a sterile wort uh, which has been boiling at like 200 Fahrenheit so we're gonna let it cool down for uh, until the yeast temperatures and we're gonna add those and wait uh, once we get all the um, mm, our beer is ready to be pissed in so we're gonna use those and this is Safel US05 that's gonna be the yeast that we're gonna be using there you go so still good boil and that's this is my, actually my chiller, so uh, we use this to cool my beer down as that. I guess so, our beer is almost ready, so now we've been boiling for an hour. Now um, we're gonna get our uh, yeast ready, and uh, this is my sanitizer. So, so with the brewing, it is the most important. You gotta have it clean, sanitized, so it doesn't get any infection. And my wort has been kind of chilled, so I'm gonna check the temperatures, see how high it is. So idly is about mm, 60 to 70 degree. Uh, this is where the east pitching temperature is. Let me see, focus, focus. All right, so I'm just a little blurry over here, but I think I've got the right uh, pitching temperature. So we're gonna be adding the east right now and let it chill. All right guys, so. Uh, now this is the yeast here, that's what I was talking about. So we're gonna cut it. And it's a little powdery here, it's a little powdery from. So we're gonna sprinkle. So uh, beer is basically made from water, uh, barley, yeast and hops. And actually 
this is the one that does all the hard working making those wonderful beer out of those things uh, out of those wort here there you go so we are all safe now so right here that's the yeast here let's see if we can get a little closer view there you go looks good huh so i'm gonna get us give a little stir i guess uh, i like to kind of stir a little bit uh you can actually do it on uh, regular boiling water but i like to use the wort it has a little sugar in it so uh the yeast tends to multiply a little faster and that's what the reading says so so what i do is just give a little gentle stir and then we're gonna let it let it rest for maybe another 20 minutes and this is gonna be the yeast all right that's it man so we're gonna let our yeast do its little multiplying and we're gonna be pitching those to our raw beer all right guys so now we've completed our boiling and my beer is kind of hooked up to the chiller over here so what i have over here is i've got the cold water here attached so this is basically going to go to this blue tubing to my water chiller and the hot water is going to come out and exit in doing that it's going to cool my beer and then i've got here my palm rotating hot water going up and coming back to the word the bucket here and it's going to wait for it the temperature is right here at 208 so we're gonna wait till it comes down to about less than 80 so we can pitch our yeast all right guys so our beer is kind of cooled down now we are transferring here going to my chiller and back to my fermenter here right here so we're gonna wait for all the water to be transferred and we're gonna pitch the yeast almost ready to be pitching the yeast guys Right here. All right, guys. So just gonna wait uh, for all the water to be transferred to my fermenter, and uh, let's check on our yeast here. Oh, there you go. Look at this. My yeast is all ready. All right, guys. So right now we are transferring our beer to our fermenter and actually cooling it down. So right here, let me show you. Right here. So I've got here. My beer and this is going to the cooler and back and the temperature is down to about 140 now down from 200 so we're gonna wait a little more uh, we're gonna be transferring it hey right, guys so this is my fermenter uh, this is whole seven gallon um, I've got it all sanitized and we are ready to transfer our beer now and once it is all transferred so the temperature is now down to 89 so we're almost there and at this moment you definitely want to kind of aerate the world so this is the only time you can your world which is a raw beer can have a lot of air so basically this helps to have a lot of oxygen so your yeast can thrive greatly and enhancing that making beer faster and convert the sugar so we've all aerated the um, wood um, you, can, you can see a lot of forms here it's a lot of air so now we're going to be transferring that right now in this my conical fermenter and there you go you can see the beer here now we're going to get it right here so now our beer is being transfer from the chiller back to my fermenter here there you go looks beautiful so once all the uh, wort has been transferred to the fermenter we're gonna be pitching our yeast all right guys so right now we just finished transferring all the wort to our fermenter here now it's time to pitch the yeast so there you go and uh, this is very well aerated and uh, now we're gonna piece the all right guys so our yeast is all ready right here it looks amazing 
right here so now we're gonna push the east right now there you go perfect and it's gonna stir it slowly all right guys so uh we just finished transferring the beer uh to our fermenter and we added the yeast right now so uh now we're gonna seal it and then do put a little airlock and then it's ready to ferment for maybe uh two to three weeks and our beer should be all ready to bottle so uh i've got a hair so this is gonna be my lead so we have a airlock here so this is what they call this is the airlock so this one goes right where you can see the full filtration here so <clears throat> all right, right now so i've got my old beer all good fermented i'm i'm out to put the little fermenter here i'm gonna lock it here so this is we're making a little air tight so no oxygen can get in and this is a little airlock here that's the airlock so the little waters and this one goes right on top and voila our brewing is ready guys all right guys there you go so now we're gonna put in our little corner and let the and i've got our little corner here so there you go another episode of homebrew completed so we just pierced our ears and i've got a uh, all little sealed and cover up uh, this is where we can see the little fermentation you can all right guys so we're gonna let this sit for a few days about two weeks and beer should be all ready hey right, guys so so my beer is all ready now and i've already pierced the ears and i place this in my fermenter here so uh we're gonna let our beer sit for about two weeks and let the yeast do the magic and make some awesome beer and uh, hopefully i can bring you another video uh, once the beer is ready once again uh thank you for watching and uh if you like this video please like comment and do subscribe to our channel if you'd like more home beer videos thank you have a good day guys so once again guys uh so this is the completion of uh homebrewing today so uh, i've got all my beer ready and fermenting right now that's right here guys so uh should be about two weeks and my beer should be all ready and then we'll be doing a bottling and hopefully a few more weeks to eight and we'll be ready to drink so once again uh thank you everybody for watching and please uh give us a thumbs up or comment down below uh and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more homebrewing videos in near future ciao have a wonderful day and everybody get some good beer adios